Okay, today we're going to be looking at Module 9. Module 9 is Top Performance Through Empowerment, Teamwork, and Communication. These are the learning objectives for this module. Learning Objective 1, Discuss Empowering Employees. When an employee feels empowered, he or she feels comfortable in managing their work environment. They're given the authority and responsibility to make decisions about their work day. Learning Objective 2, Distinguish the Five Types of Teams. The five basic types of teams are work teams, problem-solving teams, self-managed teams, cross-functional teams, and virtual teams. Learning Objective 3, Identify Team Characteristics. Three important characteristics of teams include the size of the team, the team level as far as ability, experience, and personalities, and the diversity of the team. The stages of team development. The first stage is the forming or orientation stage. Then there is typically a storming stage where personalities emerge. Then the norming stage takes place where differences have been resolved. Then the performing stage actually happens with task accomplishment. And then the final stage of adjourning where the team dissolves and wraps up. Learning objective four, evaluate team cohesiveness and norms. Team cohesiveness is essentially the extent to which a team member feels attracted to the team and motivated to be on the team and to help the team operate effectively by having an active role in the team's progression. Learning Objective 5, describe team conflict. Team conflict oftentimes stems from disagreements among the team members regarding goals and priorities or task-related issues, as well as personality conflicts. Learning Objective 6, explain the importance of effective communication. Being a good listener is very important in effective communication. Having a collaborative style of communicating with someone as well as giving ongoing feedback is important. Learning Objective 7, compare the basic forms of communication. There's oral communication, face-to-face, -face, over the phone, WebEx meetings. There's formal communication from the top down, top executives down. Informal would be through the grapevine. There's written communication, as in letters, memos, email communications, nonverbal communication by way of body language, facial expressions, and tone of voice. Learning objective eight, or rather, let's look at external communication and crisis management. There always, need, there always needs to be a ex meaningful exchange of information towards your customers, your suppliers, any of the company stakeholders, for example. And whenever there is a public crisis or bad publicity happens, this needs to be addressed quickly and honestly through the use of your top management officials. Okay, well, there you have it. Have a great rest of your day.